Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. Now I have got a fabulous short 10 minute seated stretch at our work desk chair. If you are someone that um, is seated all day and just needs a little bit of care, a little bit of self love to kind of open up those shoulders, to give the back of our body a little wake up, this is gonna be a perfect class for you. Even if it's not your job to all day sit at a desk and we just maybe have been scrolling on our phone for a while, this is still a good one for you. So you don't even have to roll out your mat. Just take a seat in your chair and let's get started. So whether you are starting from your desk chair or you know, you've been scrolling all day and you just want a little bit of movement, I want you to come to a seat in your chair and scooch to the very front edge of it. If you notice, even just as a tip, in general, if you wanna work on posture while seated at your desk, sitting at the very edge can really be helpful to lift up and out of your sitting bones. So just let those hands hang heavy on your side or on your uh, lap. Let your shoulders roll back and think of almost pressing into your legs so you can grow out of your sitting bones touching the chair. Take a great big inhale, big breath out. Sit up a little taller, a little straighter, pull that belly button in and then inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Feel the sitting bones connecting with the chair, press down into your feet on the floor, activate your low body and then grow up and out of your waist. Maybe wiggle the fingers a little here. Did your shoulders rise up? Hopefully they stayed down. Keep drawing your ribs in even if it feels like we want to splay them. And then let your right hand fall to the ground. Just let it hang heavy, almost as if little weights are pulling it down. At the same time, lift your left hand a little higher and start to take a small stretch over towards the right. Now this is easy to kind of collapse our chest in, but I want you to keep it nice and open, broadening across the front of your body. Take a big inhale. Think of pressing into both feet to guide your hand all the way up. Drop the opposite dan hand down, lift up just as we did on the other side and stretch over. Think of evenly pressing into both feet, even while you're here, and then take both hands all the way up. Wiggle out the fingers a little bit, reach your hands higher, and take a twist to the right. Now notice, did you let your hips kind of move there, letting one knee fall out of place? We want to keep them in line, and if that means our twist is a little bit more shallow than what we think it's going to be, that's okay. Imagine you've got a wall next to you, you're pressing into the wall, you're broadening across your chest, wiggle those fingers, lift your head a little higher, smile, take a big inhale. Easy breath out, and then inhale, lift the hands high. Keep pressing down evenly into both feet and take a twist to the other side. Same thing here, don't let those hips knock out of place. Keep those knees pointing forward. Press into that imaginary wall, maybe kind of think of gripping it, bringing your shoulder blades to touch, and then both hands lifting up again. Clasp them behind your head, open your elbows wide. Now I do not want us to splay our ribs, I want us to draw them in, but think about pressing the back of your elbows behind you to open up across the chest. Lightly dip your chin to your chest just so we can lengthen through that cervical spine. Take a big inhale. Dip your right elbow down, lift your left elbow up. Almost imagine I'm holding underneath your left arm, kind of around your left armpit, and I'm pulling that left side up to the sky. Feel a little bit of space created from your left hip through your left side body all the way up to your left elbow. Take a big inhale. Tone the belly, pull yourself all the way back up. Same thing other side. Dip the left elbow down and lift the right elbow high. Keep drawing those ribs in. Almost imagine I am pressing that right sitting bone, that right hip down into the chair and you are opening and fanning up kind of opening the side of the ribs as you lift that right elbow up nice and high, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back up. Now one more time, over to the right, I want you to pause. This time, instead of coming up straight up the center, I want you to round forward, dropping your head down towards your knees. Now stay in that little forward fold there. It is not about dropping your head all the way down. It's simply kind of rounding. Almost imagine there's a great big beach ball here that you're just draping your body over. Take a big inhale. Restack the spine, roll yourself up, 
to a seat. Same thing other side. Dip the elbow down, lift the right up, take a big inhale, and then curl yourself forward. Let that head be heavy. Find a little more space for the back of the neck and slowly roll yourself all the way up. From here, release your hands from your head. Just let them hang heavy, sit up and out of your waist. Press down into your feet. Think of cinching the belly in, pulling the ribs towards one another as you open and expand across your chest. From here, big inhale. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Think of lengthening through that cervical spine, that very top of our spine there. And then bring your gaze back forward. Again, dip your chin to your chest, still letting those hands be heavy. Almost imagine them reaching for the ground and then bring your gaze upright. One more time, dip your chin to your chest and pause for a moment. It's like someone is pulling from the very back of your skull all the way up. You're still pressing down into your feet on the floor, lifting out of your waist. And from here, roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Think about growing longer or trying to reach your left fingertips towards the ground. Take a big inhale, point your nose down towards your right shoulder. Still think of those left fingertips trying to reach, reach, reach all the way down towards the ground. Take a big inhale, relax that feeling as you roll your chin to your chest and bring your gaze upright. Same thing, other side, press down into your feet, grow out of your waist, reach your right fingertips down as you drop your left ear to left shoulder. Now, the more I think about fingertips growing down, reaching, the more I open up through that side of the neck and I find a little bit of an extra stretch. We can hold there or immediately point our nose down to our shoulder. Take a big inhale, big breath out. One more inhale. Roll your chin to your chest, relax, bring your gaze upright. Take your hands high over your head, reach those fingertips up. One more time, clasp the hands behind your head, press those elbows behind us. Now we can fan open or kind of part the ribs and I want you to rock forward and then I want you to curl in, pulling your elbows in towards your head, opening up through the back of the body. So reach your sternum forward, light arch forward as you press those elbows back and then curl your elbows together and round through the back of the body. It's a little seated cat and cow kind of tipping the pelvis forward and back. No hurry, no rush. Now this last time it'll feel a little bit silly, but I want us to tip back into that rounded position, pulling your elbows towards one another rounding down and I want you to lightly dip your chin to your chest one more time think about parting your shoulder blades behind your body take one more big inhale roll yourself all the way up relax your hands roll the shoulders around if it feels nice kind of wiggle if you need to and then let's extend our right foot out in front of us now, if you need a soft bend in your knee, that's of course okay, but ideally I want you to flex your foot, pressing your heel down, and almost think of pulling your toes up towards your face. Still press down into your left foot on the ground, but grow out of that right side a little bit more. Imagine me holding your ear, pulling it all the way up, and let's swim our hands up. Ever so lightly, rotate your pinkies towards one another and grow further and all the way up to the sky. Take a big inhale and a little hinge forward. Pull that belly button up and in right here. Press your heel deeper into the floor, flex your toes a little bit more. Take a big, deep inhale. Imagine that beach ball sitting on your lap again and then drape over it. So it's not about shoving your head down towards your knees, but just letting yourself lightly round. Slowly roll yourself up. We're gonna repeat that again with a little bit of a turned out position. So if you can, it's that rotation from our inner thigh, that ball and socket joint. I'm trying to almost expose my inner thigh up to the sky. Reach all the way up, sit tall, sit straight, big inhale. Exhale, another little hinge forward. What does that change in your body? Where do we feel it? If it's uncomfortable, you can always adjust. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. It's all about you and your body. Take a breath. Exhale, round over again. Let that head be heavy. Lengthen through that cervical spine. Roll yourself up. Pull that leg in. 
send the other one off. Press down into that heel, pull your toes up, press down into your other foot, sit tall, sit straight, reach those fingertips up high. Again, it's that slight rotation of our pinkies towards one another as we lift out of our sitting bones and then guide ourselves into a little hinge. Flex that foot, pull your belly button in, take a big sip of air in, exhale, forward fold slowly roll yourself all the way up. Again, if we want to rotate from that inner thigh, grow out of your waist, lift your hands up high, take that stretch from your hips through your side body out your fingertips, and then dive forward. It's almost like someone is pulling your sternum forward and trying to reach your head a little further away. Take a big inhale. Exhale, round down and slowly roll yourself all the way up. Pull both legs back in, sit a little taller, a little straighter, and take a moment to thank yourself for taking just 10 minutes out of your day to give your body a little stretch, a little attention. I certainly hope you enjoyed our seated 10-minute um, workday stretch, and I hope to see you again soon.